Hello, I'm Harry Spore with Superior Property Marketing and Management. And let me be the first real estate broker to tell you that I have absolutely turned this into a seller's market. That's right, a seller's market, not a buyer's market. <clears throat> the reason it's not a buyer's market is, is because there's not really enough qualified buyers out there to even make a difference. Most of the people today that are going to need to sell their house, we're not going to be able to do it today. But you have to look at the long run aspect of it. This is an investment that you've made. You're not going to be the type of person I hope that's just going to go out there and save all of your money until you can get $20,000 in cash to go out and sell a house that you've owned for 6 to 10 years and pay somebody else to take it away from you, I hope. But that's why I'm telling you it's a seller's market. And again, there's not enough buyers to make a difference. For every buyer out there, for every one buyer out there, there's probably at least 50 people that are good quality people that can lease your house out that'll pay your house note for you until this market recovers. Don't be one of the ones that gets taken advantage of. Don't be the person that gives your house away. Let us be the one that helps you through a little bit of a troubling time. This is not a major deal for anybody as long as you don't let it become a major deal for you. There's a lot of people out there that had to relocate because of their jobs. If your house is sitting vacant right now and you're paying a mortgage on it and it has not sold right now, then please, by all means, give me at least five to ten minutes to sit down in front of you and explain how our process works. There is absolutely no reason to not do a lease purchase type transaction on your house. We have done over a hundred of these transactions alone this year in 2010. Go out and find some other uh, real estate company that can claim that they've done over a hundred transactions this year. Most of them are sitting in their office crying into their instant sanka hoping that the market's going to turn around in the morning, but it's not. And since it's not, let's do something smart, let's do something proactive to make the change and make it to where it is profitable for you as a homeowner, not only today, but in the long run. If you're the type of person that's out there with a for sale sign in your yard and you're ready to give your house away for about 70 cents on the dollar, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for the fact that you don't understand that there is another option for you to go with. Let me take just a minute to see if I can make one last plea to the mathematically ignorant. If you're out there and you're saying that you would never ever lease out your house, then I have to tell you that if your house is sitting vacant and you've been relocated to another city or if you're in a position where you absolutely need to make this change or this transition right now you are mathematically not thinking things through uh, the problem that I come across and I hear it all the time in the business that I'm in is I'll have people tell me uh, Harry but the tenant is gonna come in and destroy my house well let me just tell you do you think that only the friends that you come in contact with at work in the water cooler and at church uh, are the people that are out there renting houses? Because I can assure you for every one horror story that you hear about somebody's house getting tore up, mistreated, rent not paid, uh, so on and so forth, there are hundreds and hundreds of success stories where we move people into the house, they pay everything on time, and the the process works like clockwork well that's not very interesting and it's not going to hold your attention very long but everybody wants to hear about somebody else's misery then basically let's just address that if you had a house that was about 2,000 square feet and somebody did do uh, an overabundance of damage to it if they were to do that the worst case scenario is is let's say I hypothetically have to go in and repaint the entire interior of the house and replace the carpet throughout the house after they've been living there for about two years. We're collecting, let's say, a thousand dollars a month in rent on that property. Well, that's twenty-four thousand dollars that you had given to you to go against uh, your mortgage uh, to pay at it instead of it just coming a hundred percent straight out of your pocket. And let's say they did do an excessive amount of damage and it did cost four thousand dollars worth of repairs. Well, at least you would have the other $20,000 that you were able to benefit from. All right, let's look at the upside for a few minutes. <clears throat> if I were able to get a good person put into your home, they're paying a thousand, two thousand, whatever it works out to be, 
uh, as far as what type of home that you actually have that you're needing to get somebody put into. Uh, and I put them in there and they stay for two years or four years and the market starts to recover. Well, now we're at a point where at least you can either sell and break even or even better than that, you can sell and make a profit, which you, you know, basically started out with in your mindset when you got into this in the first place. When you bought that house, you had every intention of living there for a certain amount of years, ballpark, you know, five, seven, ten, whatever it may have been. But you had an idea that when you got ready to sell that house, you were going to make a profit. Don't give up on that idea. That idea is not dead. An investment is a long-term type scenario, and we can turn this into a profitable situation for you. One of the things that you got to take into consideration is, is not only will you be getting your mortgage paid for, but you'll also be able to write all the interest off of the loan. Uh, you'll be able to depreciate that house if you're living out of state because now it has become an investment property. There are several financial advantages to doing our lease purchase program here at SPM. So if you kind of get a grasp of what I've been trying to tell you here for the last few minutes, <clears throat> what I want you to do is give me an opportunity to sit down with you face to face in your house and let me explain it a little bit better. There's probably a lot of questions that you've got in the back of your mind that you want to get answered and I'd be happy to sit down and go through absolutely every single one of them. I have probably six or seven qualified agents that can also come out and sit with you. You may have even been referred to me by one of my uh, real estate agents. Uh, and again, please feel free to contact us directly. You can contact us through the website. You can call me on my cell phone, call the office line. Uh, I'll be glad to come out and meet you at your convenience and we'll go through the process and I can show you the absolute smart thing to keep your head above water, get your house to where your mortgage is getting paid for, and keep everything in your control. Thanks. Okay, this is a note to my fellow real estate agents. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many times I go in behind you guys after you've had a house on the market for six months, nine months, a year, and even still you won't show them what the CSA is? CSA, 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 it's just like Carfax in the commercial. Show them. Let them know what today's market is. Maybe they can make a more intelligent, informed decision. If you keep walking in there and telling these people that they can sell their house and still make a $10,000 profit and you don't do anything as far as the marketing is concerned, you don't put it in the newspaper, you won't open a, uh, do an open house, you won't spend one dime of your money and the reason that you won't do it is because is you know as well as I do that it's not going to happen for them. Don't drag these people along. If you want to help them, grab your license, come over here and I'll show you exactly how I do it and I'll let you help your clientele just the same way I help mine. But you better hurry up because it's filling up fast around here. And if you'd like to come by my office and see how many desks I've got pushed against the wall because people have started to understand that this actually works and it works not only for the real estate agent, but it works for the best interest of the client. We will all be able to prosper, including your customers. Come see me.